Ian and Cindy are staying, and the the final episode of the Cindy and Ian are back week ended up with Ian saying, look, Kathy, you've been great, but I'm taking control of these businesses, and unless, unless you want to find a new place to go, like, it's me and Cindy are moving back into the Beale household, whether you fucking like it or not. Obviously, this episode was a big one because we saw the aftermath of Gina's overdose. Turns out she had a lo lovely little hit of fucking meth. <laughs> Not ideal. Just thought it was cocaine. Not cocaine. You also get to see a bit more of the fallout from the episodes as a whole. A bit of the story stuff. Obviously, Bobby is... Uh... Well, Cindy thought that she, well, Ian thought that Cindy wouldn't have been, would have been fine with Bobby, but fundamentally she's like, what the fuck is he doing here? Because, you know, as much as you can say you forgive the killer of your daughter, uh, well, maybe you don't if you've never actually seen them in person or seen them just chilling about. Um, oh God, what else happened today, Piggy? Not much. fair um do you want to run through the episodes so i believe we kicked our where we left off is gina is in hospital and somehow the nhs in soapland is very fucking quick like <laughs> sorry for my french but jesus she was in there for about five minutes and like Bomb. She was literally like in. She was literally like a turkey in an oven. Like she was in and out. Like Jesus. At least make it realistic. At least have George wait there for six hours mm -hmm. while they're playing reruns of the middle on uh, on BBC One. Like. <laughs> but yeah, yeah I, she. Uh, I, just, I just don't really know why they just decided. Fuck you. <laughs> let's have a. Let's have a wait. But at least she was being rushed into the fucking hospital. It wasn't like she was just like, oh, and she's here. What? Now you have to wait in the waiting room for six hours until you get seen there. And then when the doctor sees you, he's going to tell you there's nothing wrong with you. Take a few paracetamols and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> because that's what healthcare is like over in England and Ireland. Well, at least for my mental health. Because I shit yeah. you not, know, sorry to get sidetracked. I shit you not, know, I remember so. I remember this so much. I remember being in a waiting room in Nace Hospital, like waiting for my doctor to see me, right? Yeah. So, you know, they're not like, uh, I don't know if you've ever had a mental breakdown and went to hospital. Uh, never got that far, no. Uh, so, when you have a mental breakdown, they bring you into a little room, basically, and they they get a nurse or a doctor to see you, and then they get a psychiatrist to see you. I think yeah. it's a psychiatrist. And basically they go, okay, so why were you feeling like this? Blah, blah, blah. This is what I can recommend. We'll do this with you and do this. This Dr. Waltz is in, right? He waltz is in. He asked me a few questions like, what's your name and all that. And my dad basically stood up for me and was like, yeah, my son hasn't been feeling well. And the doctor just replies, if you're having a bad day, Piggy, just sleep it off. And wake up. <laughs> Oh my god. So like if you're feeling too sorry to latch, the advice that I give to you is just have a sleep. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> Um but yeah, it, not the shit on the NHS or the HSE, but you know. Oh you have underpaid workers, what are they supposed to do? Fucking make miracles. Um but yeah. So she's in the hospital. <laughs> she's in the hospital, and obviously uh, Cindy comes in, and Cindy and George have a little cheeky chatty. Um, Cindy wants to be in the girls' lives, but George like, no, Just, you've caused too much, Cindy, or oh, Rose. You've caused so much damage, so much. And then uh, Bobby and Peter go to the hospital with Ian, and we also see Ian and Alfie reminisce. About the good times and the bad times. Yeah. And they sing songs about the good times and they sing songs about the bad times. Um. So yeah, and they go to hospital 
And then Shindy does the fucking, what is he doing here? Ah, poor Bobby. And I'm like, like, Bobby did it nine years ago. Get over it. Just get over it. Like, Linda lost me a car, so she's still not banging on about him being dead. She is, she is, like. Yeah, but she's not bringing it off every five minutes like Cindy is. True, true. Like, you know, you're sitting down having lunch. You have Ian in one corner going, oh, I'm having a heart attack. In the other corner, you have Sydney going, you've murdered my daughter. Uh, you murdered my daughter, Bobby. At least Linda, when she sits down for dinner, is not going, Mick Carter died at sea, George. She, he died at sea. But yeah, um, yeah, they get to the hospital. Um, Cindy just, you know, she wants to make things right. Bobby tries to make things right with Anna, but uh, he fails. And Anna runs off and Cindy gives her a hug. And then George waltzes in and says, Anna, you're wanted in there uh, with Elaine, your real mother. Um, he doesn't say that. Yeah. Um, but I wish he did. It would have been funny. Um, so yeah, Cindy then walks off. Uh, George has a little cry on a chair. And it's a lovely little cry. Wish he went to the karaoke room. It was just, and now that your rose is in bloom, just start belting it out like, what a, <laughs> what a, <laughs> what a been fucking hilarious. That's just his sad song he goes to. It's just a kiss from a rose. But yeah, he has a little cry. Um, Ian arrives back at the Beale house. The Be- the Beale house. The Beale house. Mm-hmm. Um, and he tells Kathy, Rocky, Bobby and Peter. Listen here, you fuckers. Listen here and listen good. I run this shit. I run it. You see that name on that billboard? Does it say Kathy Beale? No, it says Ian Beale. I put my blood, my, my blood, my blood, my sweat, my tears, my cum, all into this. I built this company and it will die with me. And like, Kathy's like, we need the money. And Ian's like, I don't care. And then he gives out about Jasper the parrot. And I'm like, Ian, that parrot could kick your ass. So don't make fun of him. No one makes fun of Jasper. There's only two people you don't make fun of in EastEnders. Jasper and Paris and Reese Caldwell. You can make fun of anyone else. And also mm-hmm. I'll add George Knight to that list. Don't make fun of George Knight. Because unlike the other two, I'll just complain. But George Knight could legitimately not hear him. Choose Anne in, Anne in Universe. Like, the actor who plays him could not hear him easily, I believe. Probably. Probably. He is tall and scary, so like, I wouldn't want to go down a back alley and see him. Like, like the, shit uh, the, the fucking glass he had to drink water out of fucking looked so <laughs> small in his hand. <laughs> or was he fucking got Have a fucking ever... sippy cup? Like, holy shit. I know it's a weird comparison, but have you ever seen Andre the Giant when he's holding a giant can? And it's just like a <laughs> tiny can in his hand. Yes. That's, that's basically the glass. Like, I looked at the glass, and it was like the glass was shaking in his hand. And the glass was like, oh, no, please, no, don't break me, please. It's, it's just shaking. But, yeah. Uh, Ian takes over uh, control. Um, will he buy, will he buy the, still, not the, 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 the funeral home, like the league suggested? The uh, cokers, the funeral parlour. Uh, yeah, probably. I don't know where he's going to get the money from, like. I'll be honest, because the chippy's not making much money. Do, do, do you reckon uh, he'll, he'll I sack Freddie? I do hope Freddy? that Bobby, like, nah, nah. Well, he might sack Freddie when he finds out about him sleeping with Anna, but I do think that I would love to see scenes of Ian and fucking Bobby, like, working in the chippy together. That would be, like, a lot of fun. No, no. Bobby, Bobby, uh, Ian, and Freddy. Oh, oh, God. I Do you know what I need now? I need a standoff between Reese Caldwell and Ian Beer. They will meet. 
like no, I'm ready. You know, like you know, like how people say your Rock versus Austin, your Tyson versus your Tyson, I know you say Tyson Fury. You're like Tyson versus someone. Your McGregor versus yeah. um, Mayweather. This is the biggest fight in history. You think you're special? You do. Like Ian Bale, one corner, Reese in the other corner. Like, ro- where were you when these two collided? Where were you? Obviously, Reese would win, in my opinion. Of course. Even though Ian does have a boxing career ahead of him, so. Uh, but yeah, basically he takes control of the house and he's back. For how long? We don't know. Um, well, just they're staying. They are staying. Well, yeah, but yeah. Well, we don't know how we don't know how long Adam Woodyak is going to stay on the show. Oh, he's back for years, of course. I hope not. Well, I do. It's fucking Ian Beale. Yeah, yeah, Especially I know. This I know Ian Beale. This Ian's yeah, but he made fun of Jasper. He made fun of Fuck Jasper. Jasper, Jasper's shite. No, Jasper is a great actor. You just don't understand him like I do. I message Jasper all the time, and he responds to my messages. Hey, what fucking? Oh, I don't have a funny joke for this. Um, yeah, it's simply the exciting stuff is obviously Ian taking back control of the Beale household. I think he's going to fucking shit himself knowing, like, how many of the businesses are gone. Because, you know, Wolford East has been sold. Like, fucking... The Chippy was on the market to be sold. Like... I'm not saying Kathy's done a pretty garbage fucking... <laughs> a pretty garbage thing. But, like, she can't be acting as if, like, oh, it's not my fault when she just gave out 50 grand to her husband's ex-wife. Like, sorry. <laughs> You're telling me Ian's not allowed to have this? Like, fuck off, man. You're, you've been running it into the ground. Cheeky bastard. Sorry, I just... Like, also, just Kathy needs to stop fucking... Oh, well, why the fuck are you It's like, Kathy, you did also just leave Ian for 10 years of his life. Like, let's just not, just not forget that. You did show up and did the exact same thing that Cindy did. So don't fucking act all high and mighty. Which she will. She will do that because it is Kathy and that's kind of a part of the character. But, like, for fuck's sake, man. I don't know. I, uh, is there anything else we missed? I suppose the final scene... Um, the final scene was... Essentially, Cindy telling George, look, I'm staying, my girls need me, and by the way, it's fucking Cindy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, uh, it was pretty good. It was a pretty, it was a genuinely very fun week of EastEnders. Uh, it was funny to see the, the talking of uh, Alfie and Ian because we saw... You know, we saw, like, the worst of Alfie and Ian last time they were on the show. It was nice to see them pieced back together. Obviously, it, it puts the Beals at, like, front and center of the, uh, of the Beal, like, of the show. And I do think they're, like, they will have a very, like, big Christmas storyline. I don't really know what it is yet. I think they will all, they will be involved with the, like, death at christmas but i also just look forward to the incredibly awkward like christmas dinner with the knights and the beals but yeah piggy mm-hmm. what did you think of this week it was good it was it was fantastic Do I, any, any more no no it's just a good week fair enough and that wraps up our coverage of the week. Uh, we will be doing the podcast as normal. Uh, not sure what we're going to do with it, considering we've done four. We we've done eight videos discussing this week, so I'm sure we'll figure out some way to make it a bit more fun, a bit more interesting, a bit different. <laughs> but ultimately, who the fuck knows? Uh, I've been Ash. 
from watching Wolford and have been joined by Piggy. Bonjour. Uh, follow us on Twitter slash X, Twitch and Instagram at Watching Wolford and subscribe to us on YouTube and we have been watching Walford. You've been watching us. We've been watching you. So, without further ado, good night. See you. Bye. Bye bye.